Hi guys. Good <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the webinar today. Can you guys hear me? Okay, that's good. Um, I think today the market is quite slow because um the the market is closed right for the um New York section. I think the market is quite slow today. Okay. Okay. Let's just wait for a while more for everyone to tune in, and then I will start the section for today and. You guys already know today just thought about live trading section. Okay, so if you have any pair you want me to have a look, you can let me know. Okay. Um just excuse me one like one minute, okay? Sorry, guy, I'm back. <laughs> okay. UJ, okay. UJ, EU, and GU, right? GDP, okay. GU, okay. I would do that for you. Okay, guys, so I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's just start our webinar for today. And today is just purely for like trading section. Okay. Um, Before we jump to the chart, just disclaimer. As you guys already know, this material provided is for uh, information purpose and only should not be construed as investment advice and if you guys want to trade please do your own due diligence before you guys trade all right and <sighs> sorry about myself my name is peggy i'm a trade analyst at area frozen group we are finalists for the best back with us in 2019 20 and 21 and finalists for the best Equity research in 2020 and 21. Let's just start our section for today. Okay. Just ignore all the um shares. Okay, let's just look for the um DXY first. Okay, I think now DXY at first resistance. I think since the XY is bearish, EU, GU, and gold should be bullish. But let me see. Okay. Um, have you guys used Fibonacci? Um, after you know, I share with you guys how to use it. Yes or no? <laughs> you can share with me how is your trading so far. Let me, okay, now I'm going to use Fibo to draw my um second support. So this is my, sorry, first support. It could be at this level. That's why last week, let me first support. I think last week my first support is somewhere here. And then we catch the, the buy entry somewhere here. But now I think I'll go move up a little bit. This one, which is we do have, I just put um, 30, 38 and 50 Fibonacci. So this is the, we just call the zone because, you know, this is some, the zone that you can buy, consider to buy. And um, I just pick this as my second support. So, since look at the daily. Okay. Uh, I think it's still in. No. 
Okay. Let me look at daily. That's why I think it's bullish. Okay. Let I just look for EU. Okay. Euro dollar. Euro dollar. What happened here? Okay. If you are um on the um trader to the club, take me to trader club. Like, I think I did send um the the signal, not the signal, like um analyst for you. So this is my first support. Like I say, um now this one is falling, like bearish, right? So usually um positive correlation. So this should be bullish so like buy it's generally the buy here along here where is your tp you can use or you can wait to sell if you want to okay so let's say you buy if you buy this to be your first TP because this isn't going to be my first resistance. And then we do have 38. So I think there's only about 30, 38 to 50. 38.2%. So this is my kind of like my um my sales zone. So if you if you buy from here from here, okay, first your first TP should be here, because from here and then you will see that they will you will see any um confirmation in the lower time frame and then you can sell over here. Let's just let me see. I do highlight the zone for you. Uh, secondary system. Yeah. So okay, so let's say I think you should should keep my eye on this level, which is seventy eight and ah uh, okay. Let me see. This zone, let's say if the price come and then break above first resistance, you may you may um you know, take a look at this level, which is we do have 61.8% projection here. Okay, because I feel that price might come up until here, which is we do have fifth level as well. Let me see. Okay, see? I think I mentioned the zone. Um, okay. I think this is a better zone. I will just put this for you to first TP, for example, here. I will tell you the reason why I don't pick this um level. Okay. Okay, because I will slightly um move up a little bit for my first resistance, which it I will pick here, somewhere here. Because we do have um some here, slightly here. Let me highlight the body as well. We do have sixty one point eight percent retracement and sixty one point eight percent uh protection. And what you can see here is that price could not, you know, price break below this resistance need to be, and then you know becomes um resistant, resistant, resistant. So it, I think this is a good level. I just put this. So let's say if you buy from here, price come to here. And then at this level, you can either if you see any confirmation in the lower time frame, for example, 
like any rejection, like something like this one, like a few candle cannot go through and then you co may consider to sell. I mean, uh, at this level, okay. But this level, if you were to zoom in the lower time frame, it's used to be support, support, and then break above, become resistant, break again, it's become support and now resistant. But to me, I prefer this level. You consider this one, okay. Oh, it's not by entry, sorry. This is your first support. Okay. And your second support. This is the second support one. Because let's go to the lower time frame. What we can see here. Price is still uh, on um, like uptrend. Make a higher high, higher high. And the low is still like a trend line. Okay, what you can see here. It's still a trend line here. So to me, I think they will give bounce off from this level in the daily. Okay. Head four. These are head four. So we wait for um the price to go up here and then you sell. Okay. Do you? Mm. Okay, let's see GU. Okay, for the daily time frame now, price is already at um support level somewhere here. For the for the um daily, you can just put a this swing low. Okay. And I zoom in to head four. What you can see that price is from like support level is able to stretch until um like here. Make me sure. Wait. You can just put here. And then you know why when it's go up somewhere here and then it's kind of bounce off because I think it's their consider um resistant level for them. But resistant in head four time frame. Because you to be you see weak, 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 break below and now become overlap resistant, which is your full feet ball it should be 50 percent and 38 okay about well, 38 percent feet level here retrace and bounce off and i think the second resistance is somewhere here okay here it's the second resistance today any divergent here i don't have Which pair is your favorite pair to trade? For me, um, recently I trade a GU quite a lot, like GBPUSD. Okay, this is my second um this support. Okay, let me pull out the fifth level. Let me see. Um I'll pull from it's come down already. Okay, so second support we do have um seventy eight point six percent protection. You guys can see. I zoom in for you guys to see here protection. Okay, so I think it's good level here. Nice rebound up here. I so thirty eight point two percent. Okay, either you sell now. If you want to sell, wait, if you want to sell now, let me see the lower time frame first. Okay. You can... If I see like that in this candle, the next candle already sell. You can consider to sell, but it's not a good level. Price already miss a few pip. Few pip from here, let me see. Um M thirty. Okay. Yeah, I think you may consider to sell if you want to sell here. 
high levels already. If you want to sell here, write your TP. Your TP just to make sure for your TP to, to be somewhere around here, okay? I mean, you can pull the FIP in um H1. Let's say this is your high. Your TP should be somewhere this level before 61.8%. This should be your TP, which is able to sell from like 263 to 260 is about 30 pip. Yeah, that's good enough. 25 to 30 pip, I think that's good enough. So this is your, uh, your TP should be somewhere around here, around this level. This is your TP here, if you were to sell. Okay, like here to here. You ask me why I choose here, like why I put my TP here, because if you want to zoom in in H4, um, like FIB level 61.8%, you know that it's a golden level, right? And I think somewhere around here, you want to trade like demand and supply. This is um demand so on. So somewhere here, there will be people to buy from here. So usually, if you were to sell, we will TP before support level. Let's just say support level here. And when you zoom in and see, this is have like supply zone here. A uh, demand zone, sorry, demand zone here as well. So if you were to sell, your TP should be here. Okay. Wait, let me see all the communication. Um, what is the meaning of first and second support resistance? The meaning, for example. Okay, very easy. For example, let's say if the price break above first resist first resistance, definitely it will go to second resistance. That is the meaning. Because usually you will, you will find like uh two support and two um resistance, right? So meaning let's say if they break this one, the next what is the next support level? Then you need to find which is I choose this as second support. Okay, when we when I draw support resistance, I don't anyhow draw the level. There might be conference, there might be um Fibonacci level, um, or there will be either overlap support or overlap resistance, or there might be you want to trade, there might be demand and supply zone, uh, you know, light up with Fibonacci level. Okay, so in this case, uh but why I shoot here, for example, because you were to look on your left. It's used to be like support level. Like I say, when you draw support resistance, it just it doesn't matter. You want to draw at the wick or the body. Okay, you just have to fine tune a little bit. Just like for example, if I were to choose here, and then you see that is really cutting nicely. No, yeah, it used to be used to be here, but then this one is break above already. So I just kind of move up a little bit. Just want to see any um like any level. And then when I move up, I know that here should have like 38.2%. Okay, somewhere here. Before that, this one used to be resistant, right? Used to be the support, for example. Price break below is become resistant, but then what you can see that these two candle, it really break above. So this is not resistant level. So we need to find again where is our, um, level so I, I pick here let's say it's a break it's a break above potential they might go to second um resistance here which is we do have 78.6 percent protection here but i think today the market is very slow is this a live market yeah this is a live market you cannot see you cannot see oh Okay, let me, um, it's live market, but today because the market is closed, that's so why you don't really see the move, um, the movement yet. You can see all the, here, you can see the price keep like, um, fetching here. Today's market is closed, if you have to check, um, for like factory. This is Monday, it's a bit quiet. Okay.
Uh, you see? Require today is no news. Today. Okay, we don't have a news like important news today. The major news as well for the USD. And then, um, you know, USD bank holiday today. That's why the market is really slow. Okay. Mm. Do you trade gold? Yes, I do trade gold. I will bring you to the gold later. Yes, I do. Um, I do trade gold. I used to do, I used to like stop go a lot, but not anymore. And then I think I trade on uh, GU more than go now today. But um, but today is really quiet, so I don't have any trade or open at the moment because I still kind of like waiting. Maybe today I don't even trade because the mark, um, you know, the market is closed and there's no movement in the market. Okay. So this, why draw this? Okay. I draw again. Okay. So let's just look for this pair. Five price is reverse. If you, usually if I trade, I like to like draw the zone from the wick to the body. So actually it's my sales zone. I actually is my first resistance because you ask me why I don't like stretch from the here. I don't because what I can see over here is already good enough to reference because you see for resistance, this level, Price cannot go above and then the body is close below. I choose this one as my first resistance. And where is my support? I sh this is my support level, first support. Where is my second? I need to move because we are in H4. Okay, I choose this. Okay, I choose this one. Because why I choose here? If it's stretch here, it's nothing, nothing you can reference to. So I just put at the week, meaning that this is have a multiple um swing low here, meaning that it's quite um there might be something over here. That's why you know when the price comes out here, it's gonna go below. And then actually it's like sideways for quite a few, like a few days. Okay, like from here to H4 here is like sideways. After the price break up above this uh box and then now they go here. What I can see here that I just see it might have potential to make like a double top like that. Okay. But let me see in H4. Okay, because it sorry, let me see in the Daily time frame here, price is still on downtrend though. So meaning, okay, what you can see here, price is still make a um, lower low and lower high in the daily time frame, right? Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. I think it's still something like that. In the Daily time frame and price is respect descending trend line. I want you can see that here. If you want to um see the belly channel line, I think you also can see that you see. So it's still on um belly or down trend. Okay, for the um U frame here. Okay, we're still on here. So let me just move a little bit here. Okay, that's why I think price is still coming down. So here in the bigger time frame, okay. And I draw people. So this is exactly at 50% for our preferred support. Okay, so what you can you zoom in to see in it, what you can see here in the um head four because we we draw from daily time frame right it's still within the berry channel line. Okay, so let me just remove this one. Okay, 
Okay, so this is my support resistance. Let me see. Hash. Okay. 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 You may consider to wait to buy over here at first support. Okay, wait for the confirmation. Let me just um find the okay. This one is my trade setup some days ago. That here is my sales zone. I remember this pair. And then I say that okay, this is like they're going to do like left head and right shoulder. So I think we wait for the price to come in the zone. Price already come to my zone and then all the way down to my like this zone. And then now it go up, so they still on sideways. Okay, what you can see here, price is all the way up, right? Higher, high, higher, low. And um, the UJ, um, I I think I shared with you guys already. I had I got stopped out because I thought like price is will change from like momentum from the bullish to bearish because. Um, first is like I saw that price break this level. Okay, so price come up to this sub somewhere this this zone. I do sell. Okay, when I do sell and then okay, uh TP somewhere just before that, and then I saw that oh they're going to create like a, you know a double 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 top, and then they also like you know break channel character already, and then you know the low also get lower. Like here, like you know, they like this is like um the high, right? Low, uh, lower, low. I like I thought it's like that, so I kind of like I wait, I think I kind of like sell somewhere around here, but then after that, price is I got stopped out because you know, after it's like it's reversed a little bit and then it's just all the way up. I got stopped out like last week or two weeks ago. When the yen is really weak. Yeah. And then it got stopped out like two times or three times. <laughs> so uh, now I don't trade UJ for the time being because like break up with the U, uh, sorry, UCAT, not UJ, sorry. Um, okay. So now let's find um, support resistance for this level. Good time to short then for weak pair. The webinar is one hour, so five. My time is five thirty to six thirty. Um, Singapore time. Okay, I bet in Singapore, so I don't know where you guys um bet. Okay, good time to show. How long did it take you to become a consistent profitable? Do you use fundamental? Okay, I do use fundamental. Uh, fundamental to trade. Only if there is a news, meaning that if there is a news like um in the New York market, usually I will hold a position and then if I profit or hit my TP, that's it. I'm not trade during the news. Or if I want to trade, I will trade after the new release. But like last week, okay, let me just go to go. You know that last week the news came out on Friday. Friday, um, I think like 8.30. The, you know, non-farm payroll is green light. Like, usually, and let's just say not 100% is 95% when the new is, I mean, it's a green color, meaning that the US dollar is, is good, right? EU, GU, and gold will like sell off. So last, like last week, we get a sale from here for gold, for example. Um, I do. I think I send the this technical analysis like my trade setup to the um 
Think Mill Trader Club. I think we do hit TP, right? I haven't checked. Okay, I, I sell at 78.6% FIB level, which is here. Okay, but I highlight the zone from the wick here to the to the body. So actually, this is my sell zone. Okay, last week, I got a sell. And then price came down uh, more than 100 pip, more than 100 pip, I think almost, right? Almost two. And then where is my TP? My TP is at 23 by 6 percent, which is one three um here. So actually I TP somewhere around here. Okay, I didn't hold until uh below because um for me go if you hold for 100 pip, that is good enough for go. Okay, because you know that go is really volatile, right? And then I think that like okay, I saw that's gonna be like um um elite wave. Where is my okay? I thought like okay, this is a one, two. Then I think like this could be three and four, and then I thought it's gonna be five. I'm not sure whether it's gonna like, wave five, but I thought like, okay, this my wave three, and then wave four to be between whatever is not like all overlap like wave one, which is not going to overlap like wave one somewhere here so i thought like okay my my tp should be somewhere like here should be like and i kind of overlap right? so i think it should be somewhere right here that's why i just picked 23 by six percent to complete my trade for the sales um position but then you know maybe price come down and go up i'm not i don't know so that's why last friday i get i get on you know the order from here so this is my still my first resistance here it's my first resistance and then i will draw the zone like this is the zone which is the wick here still resistant okay if you sell now sell one nine four six let's say if you if you sell as like one nine forty five <clears throat> i think it's touch my seven my golden or my actually this is my like sales zone because I'll tell you why here because I think that okay this could be the um the left shoulder head and the right shoulder here you get what I mean so my strategy if you want to trade um like a QM you know QM right this is, I think, my left here. I I look this one at my left shoulder. What is? Okay, I think this is gonna be right. Okay, what you can see here, that's why you sell because I, here it break, it breaks my low here. Like it's big my this low, like this low, this big low, let's just say, okay. And then when the price go up to somewhere my zone here, and then I sell in the head four, okay. You see, and then if you also ask me if you sell, where's my TP? The TP should be this is a good level for the first support. For example, if you sell sin one nine four five, right? And then if you want to hold the trade. To that one nine thirty or thirty five, you just put your tailing stop here because why should this level because this one need to be support the long week this um support become resistant break above become um support break below then you keep 
a prior liver become resistant and break again become support. So if I I find this is very good um support level and then there should be the fib level should be thirty eight point two percent. No. Um. Okay. If if I draw fib like that, right? If you see that you know um light up with any Fibonacci retracement is okay. You don't need to force like you know that this is really really good um uh, overlap um support level. But when you draw fib, like, I mean when you draw um the Fibonacci right, you see oh, it's not there is nothing to light up here. You then you would think that oh maybe I draw support longly and then you try to like adjust or may maybe this is my my support level. Okay, you think this might your support level, and then you might think, oh, maybe no, I want, I want this, and you are keep adjusting. No, it's it doesn't work that way. Support and resistance is always the first one that you need to keep. I mean, you need to, uh, you need to draw some of resistance correctly. Okay, that is really basic to trade um forex, right? And after that, we just use uh, other indicator to support. Um, your technical analysis like okay you draw support resistance like that and then you know that oh there might be some like a uh, Fibonacci level there and then it's like kind of help you to confirm that okay this your support resistance is a it's a it's a correct one okay if I draw like that I don't see any my support resistance I don't use it okay for my first support okay what about my second support let's say I choose this as my second support, which is I draw FIP again. What you can see here, 61.8% the golden level, right? Then I will just show at 61.8%, which is my support level here. Okay. Okay, let's just see whether they will like fall all the way down, but today you may not see any like movement that much. Okay, you to buy, you can wait to buy here. This level to buy. Again, if you want to buy, you just need to wait for the confirmation. If you know that sometimes I use, I use EMA 100 and 200, right? And then what you can see here, it's was well, somewhere around my EMA two hundred, um, uh, which is my is at, at support level. So actually, the sell zone should be should, the buy zone should be like you know somewhere around here, like somewhere here. So the buy zone should be, I think, from one nine twenty to one nine thirty or thirty two. You can start buying. Okay. Let me go to lower time frame. Need to drop all the way here. And my second support. My second support, you were to look at daily time frame is somewhere near to my near to EMA 200. So this is this is very important. Um it's a key support level as well. And then we do have somewhere around here. And if you were to like Put the exact at EMA two hundred. Actually, it's like one nine, one nine zero eight, and then one nine twelve is only four. The pip four, four yeah for the uh four pip eh, for the pip yeah for the pip only. So it's not that a lot. If you were to highlight the zone by using like EMA, this is the zone that you are going to buy. You can highlight and then you can see whether what I say is correct or not. Okay. Because when the price comes to like EMA um, 200, which is somewhere near to my support level, I'm going to buy. Okay. So I'm waiting to buy somewhere here. If the price came down, if you buy already and where your TP, usually I set my gold TP at least uh, 50 pip. Or 500 point so your tp could be here for example here let's say if you buy from like one nine 
1930, okay, and then you close about 1938, uh, it's about 80 pip already, somewhere around here. We need to wait first, maybe before end of the webinar, I will just come and see again if there is any um, changes or price, but what we can see here is really slow today. Okay, but you can wait here and see maybe the US um, New York market open and then we'll see how later. <clears throat> What's about QM? QM is a QM is a cost C model trading strategy. Like you know it's a cartoon. You know cartoon? Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, give me one minute. Okay. So basically, um, QM is something it's like you they might they might uh I mean the price. Have to clear the left shoulder, the head. Okay, and then we are going to um buy I sell at the left shoulder, but there is a strategy, there's a rule that pry have to break below this row like that, and then you need to the fight to pull to like you know to pull back and then you sell. The strategies. This one need to break, which is chain of character, meaning that price have to like you know make a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, like that, like that, okay, something like that, and then price it fail to make a higher high, they make a lower high, lower low, okay. So when the price break this low, you use you use the fib ball. Usually, it doesn't mean some this is your left shoulder, right? This is your left. Left shoulder. Head. You can Google. Head, right? Usually it could be somewhere here, but it could be somewhere here. But usually I use Fibonacci to trade when the price is at this counter zone. Meaning that um between 50% and above. It's my discounted zone. I would sell. So this is my sale zone. So this like this is my sale zone here. Meaning, when price come to this zone, I'm going to sell. But there's a rule: price have to break this low. You wait for the price to come back to the zone here, and then you sell. This is called QM or Cost model trading strategy. Um, Q U A C model trading. Yeah, you can Google, and then you see the cartoon. You know when like the like there, she she sees like. Something like that. I don't know. You go you go on Google and then you'll see it. Okay. Which is you will find the option here. You have just have to this is a rule. You need to wait for price to break, meaning that the price have to uh or like you know make a, a higher high, higher low, and then they, they could not make a higher high, but they make a lower high, lower low. Like uh this one, so you sell. Okay. Um another one is here. Okay, what you can see here, right? Like make a lower low, low high, lower low, 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 low high, lower low, and then they make a higher high and higher low. What do what you notice over here that this is your 
left. Okay, this is your head. And then when pride break this low, uh, break this high, meaning like this high, this is the high, right? This high, make this high. You can see this high, which is channel character. Break already, you need for the pride to pull back, which is, if you were to draw feeble from here to here, okay, what you can see, this is our buy zone here. Right, I tell you my strategy, okay. This is okay, and then if you complete the right, should oh, the left, and this is the the right shoulder. Okay, you buy here, and now you can see all the way. Pride is boom, go up there. Okay, so this is QM strategy. Um, what indicator do you use? I only use indicator. I use RSI just to find bear is a bullet divergent. Okay. And then I use FIBO, Fibonacci, Fibonacci, which is retracement extension projection. Or uh, People level to trade, yeah. Sorry, I just read some question. And I don't I I use I like I used to use the EMA uh to scout go quite a lot last time, but not anymore. But I only use sometimes just want to see like EMA tournament is somewhere because sometimes they can act as support level, but not very really often now because I think I can find because I practice every day, so my support level, I mean support resistance level is quite accurate. And then I use only Fibonacci. That's all. Because you if you then if you learn the strategy, it's like you look at the market structure like uh, SMC, you can, you know, sometimes you just um make your own strategy by you study SMC and then SMC will tell you how to look at market structures. And after that, I combine, I mean, I, I Im, what you say, implement, is it implement on my own strategies? Like, okay, QM, usually people will trade QM. Sometimes they don't wait for the price to break this high. I mean, break this high. Because sometimes you don't break, you don't wait for the price to break this high, meaning that sometimes they still make a lower, lower, lower high. You get what I mean? So I'm like, you know, lower, low, lower high, lower, low. Sometimes either price is go until like that, and then they thought, oh, there might be a QM, so they wait to sell here. But actually, price still make a lower, low, lower high like that because this this high haven't break. They they haven't like you know break above this high yet, so they will still make a lower, low, lower high. You get what I mean? So you see, instead of this, make lower, low, lower high. Then sometimes if you were to like, oh, you think that they're going to be QM, you wait to, to buy at this right shoulder and then boom, you will get stopped out because price still make a lower, lower, lower high. You need to wait until price break, break the high for buy setup, for your buy setup here. Or you need to wait for the price to break the low to, for the sales setup. Sometimes here, might have like you know supply zone you get what I mean supply zone meaning that price is like there will be really big uh belly candle and then here will be like supp uh, supply zone which is um like the red candle or any kind of like um supply zone here and then you sell this is a very really good um confirmation for example okay maybe I show this other example okay if you want to see like that here move about down you know that this is your uh some people say order block whatever you to say you you go to the lower time frame which is um h1 where's my box where's my um oh, okay you can go to the lower time frame then you zoom in you will know that this is 
then you will get a sharp entry you will lower down here okay and then you know this is your sometime you might get a week here but you know that this your zone but people might have to like you know make that okay this is the entry because what you can see here in a h1 um this is a lily okay and then what you can see bed which is red candle and then price boom meaning that this is you know that a big boy in the market and then sideway this is you can call sideway as well or we can call bed meaning that you don't know um like the the big boy in the market right they're not going to where is my uh where is it ah yeah sorry let me just Okay. Uh, I cannot do it. Ah, I can somewhere here. Never mind. Let me zoom. Somewhere at the uh, June 29. Okay. June 29. Just hang with me. Okay. Mean that, you know, win like an intuition or whatever people call, like, you know, they're in a the market, right? They buy. They're not going to buy like, like, they buy boom and then you know after that the seller i mean the retail the, the retail like small like us right gonna sell because they know that oh what you can see here in m30 i assume i remove the box first huh? okay maybe i here i remove this one i mean i remove this one the retail trader like art we're going to sell here because you know that this is, I remove this block. Um, maybe I make it like smaller. Okay. I explain to you. Okay. You know that this is, this is, this is here, 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 here. This one. They will say that they're going to sell here. You know why? Because, um, let me put the color here for you guys to see. Ah, yeah, because this is um um supply zone. So in M thirty, they know that okay, this is supply zone, and it, this one have really big uh bad is candle, so they're gonna sell here. But what you can see here, when the price go to this zone, they sell right. Okay, they sell. If they're not out of the position, meaning that if they still hold, they will get stop out. That's why, like, a lot of people or a retailer like us, right? If they scalp, they will know that if they scalp here, they need to close very, um, very, very early. You cannot hold until you know the price come to this, like the um support level, because one, you know, the price come from. Um, support level and only the retailer they know that okay this is supply so they're gonna sell they sell for a while and then boom they still keep buying and then a lot of people get stopped out this is what i mean okay so where is my so where is my ah uh, so you to zoom in you will know that okay this is have like um demand zone here which is um i already tell you guys right that's why when price come back to the zone which is this one we buy we we, we follow the the big the big boy let's just say okay and then boom all the way up this is what i mean um recording i'm not sure um you need to ask um support because I don't think they upload um in a YouTube as well for live analysis, right? Yeah, you need to ask them because I think I feedback Desmond. I'm not sure whether Desmond check with the thick mute support people. Um somebody asked me like uh can you share the Skype? Like scout go. I think I teach you guy before. I don't okay, I cannot teach now because I think it will be not enough for like five minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah, because usually my uh, scalping strategy is only like 20 to 25 pip, and then I close the trade already. Uh, somebody asked me which profile I'm using. I cannot say it now. <laughs> How do you use Ichimoku indicator? Okay, it's okay for my Ichimoku indicator. It's really simple. And you guys know that there is so many um, so many um, so many lie right. I like you know there is like so many like you go to filter everything. It looks so messy. I don't like it. So usually I only use uh um Ichimoku cloud to see the momentum. And then you need to use in a higher time frame like H1 or H4, but H4 is the best for you to run train. For example, you know that price here come from the support level. One price is you know close above the um bullish or green color, meaning that price is on uptrend. Okay. You need you can run trend like that, but you will exit the trade when the price is come back to the cloud. I mean the price come back to the cloud like that. You will exit your buy position. This one, let's just say we don't we don't know what is happen in the future, but usually it that is strategy. And after that, you know that one price is re resistant, and then. You see that price is start to make a lower, low, lower high here. Okay. I still you see here. Okay. And then price is break below here. And you can help hold the uh sale position from here. Okay. And now I think I find another trade for example for you to see. What you can see prior make a higher high, higher low, higher high, right? Higher low here. And then they start to make a lower low and then high here. See, okay. When, what you can see over here, okay. When you see that price is make a higher high and this low and this low, what you can mean? This low haven't break this low yet, right? So meaning that, for example, if you think that, oh, maybe there might be a QM, for example, you know, because Peggy say this is a uh, left shoulder here. This is a good example. Okay. And then this is the head. This is called a um, chart pattern. You can see that, right? And then you see the rule, price have to break this row. But I say price have to break. And then you say, oh, price come here already. Then Peggy say, okay. We want to to sell at the right shoulder right shoulder should be somewhere here and then we pull the fit here and then Peggy say you want to buy uh maybe buy here but price haven't come right but then you say the left shoulder you see all oh, the left shoulder is somewhere here and then if you want to sell here the price is need come from here and then to here just um about one thousand they say one thousand yeah but what you can see here in hit four, if you see like that, this is not a good strategy for you to trade because price haven't break this low. So you may get the TP here if you scalp, you scalp right, but I did not. Why I get here, I see that okay, price make a lower, lower, uh, like lower low, and then the high is lower. Okay, from here high is lower, like that. Okay, and then they break this low. I mean, like this one, they break, they break this one, okay. So, I get the trade from this trade here. This is my sale entry from here. So, I get a sale from here. Okay, then you can see that price all the way down. Okay, so this, this is like your RR is like, your IR is like one to, I don't know one to how many, right? So that's why this is a good example for, for you. I delete everything. Huh? Where is my, oh, okay, see. okay. So this is a good strategy, a uh, good example for you to see. Okay, higher, high, higher, low. If you go to here, you cannot, 
you're gonna kill him. Okay, this you have to wait for this one. If you sell here, you just get only maybe less than hundred pip and price reverse, and then price have to break this law and you wait here and you see all the way down here. And then you can see that one price you sell here, and then you can see that starting uh um the red cloud is appear and then you can see that oh there was chain momentum because price is make a lower low lower high price is below the cloud so it's going to like from momentum um bullish and then we will change to bearish and then you hold the trade okay and if you want to hold the trade you use your tailing stop to help you to like the move your tailing stop tailing stop and then you can run trend that's what people say okay and then you see that uh, oh so meaning that my left shoulder is is here oh sorry my right shoulder is here not here i don't shoot here because pride i mean i don't shoot here because pride haven't break this low okay now pride this one break this low break this low this is a really good trade there is a good example for you to see okay Uh, do you also share your analysis on trading view? Um, yeah, but not but not this one. You cannot see here. <laughs> I do, but on my own, no, I did not. But I do share on the Thickmill Trader Club. Yeah, if you already have an account with Thickmill, you can just uh, you know, ping the support, and then they will add you uh on to Thickmill Trader Club because every day I will send my. Uh, technical analysis to all the members, the VIP. You can ask them, and then, like, you can ask me any 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 questions about trading strategy, or you can like, if you want to learn how to draw people, and then you you draw already, you can just ping me. You know whether you know Peggy, can you help me check? Uh, uh, you know, I draw people correctly, or it is a point resistant. It's correct. You can just ask ask me anything about trading. Okay. Okay, I just found the poll. Can you help me what? Have you guys have any one of you guy um from Think Me Trader Club? Okay, how do you take you to become consistent profitable trader? Um I think almost a year. Okay, even though I still have stopped out, but all all I still profit. Because now I don't um like scalp anymore. The reason why I change from like scalping, I used to be scalper, but because like I feel that that is not a lifestyle that I want. Because my strategy, I need to be on a computer, like you know all the time, and then because I need to check like uh watch H one clause. And then I need to go to M1 uh, or M5 to enter the position. So it's not it's not the it's not the lifestyle that I want. And then I'm working full time to do the webinar. So to, to me per day, I think I trade one or two trade per day, or maximum is three. So let's say if I um let's say if I sell or buy currency pair. Usually my TP is either like six or seven o'clock, which is my time, or almost like um New York market open, I will hit my TP. Or if there is a major news, I happy with my profit, I will just close it. Yeah. Do you buy a hole? Which one? Which pair? You mean which pair? Are you asking which one? What is this? Yeah. So that's why I don't scalp anymore. And then I feel like it's like more healthy for me. <laughs> Last time, like I shared with you guys, I can scalp um scalping go for the whole day, like seven to eight hour, morning to evening. I can just plot the pop firm, like which is hundred k um account, and then eight eight percent which is eight k. So. One or two day I can pass the challenge already already, but it's really tiring because I have to like, you know, keep in and out like very often because you scalp, right? You scalp go. You see my profit is 
um, 20, 20 to 30 pip and then I will close the position and then after that I have to wait at the end of the hour and then I enter the trade again. Yeah, so it, it really tiring for me. So I stop. <laughs> yeah. But if you were to follow me and then you know my strategy, I will tell you guys only this um like you know QM, you know, you know must know how to trade, which I already tell you the the rule that you want to trade QM, you need to wait for the price to break the low or break the high for buy setup. And then you draw support and resistance. You need to practice every day and then you get the collect level and then you pull feeble. That's it all you need because there is so many strategy for you to, to trade, but there is no um best strategy or you know highlight strategy for you to win the market. You just have to kind of like um combine with all the um uh, the strategy that you have. Do you buy gold for example to hold it in a long run like Bitcoin? I don't trade Bitcoin for gold to me. Um if I trade gold, if the price you know go up like 50 pip, I will use telling stop and then my TP I will set at 100 pip. That is good enough for me because my loss size is quite quite big. So I don't really hold the the um the trade for a long term unless I, I use telling stop and then yeah, I will hold. Which let's say I might close partial profit and then I will hold for for the long term. But usually sometimes hold that you know because go is very volatile, right? Sometimes it just hit your break even or hit my telling stop and then it's that's it. You close the position. If you want to use a uh, Ichimoku cloud to learn trend or for or for, for like for like hold the trade, right? You can you can use it for um currency pair. It works well with you know currency as well. You just have to go uh for the higher time frame, which is H4. Okay, if you go to the lower time frame, I don't think Ichimoku Cloud is work really well. Okay, if you were to look at H4, it's much better. What you can see here, when price is from the uptrend here, break below. And then you can see that um Ichimoku cloud also act as support and resistance as well. So it hit the upper cloud and then it's reward. You see, then all the way below here. One, the price is on the cloud, meaning it's sideways here. Usually people will don't trade during the price is on the cloud because it's sideways here. Okay, you need to wait for price to break for the sideways and then you sell. Something like that. Okay. Any questions, guys? Oh, I don't have I don't have a telegram. Okay, I don't have a telegram. <laughs> to be honest, I don't have time right now. Today, that's why I think to me I trade like two to three two to three trade. Uh, two to three trade trade per day. That is good enough for me already. Yeah. Okay, guys. If you don't have any question. I think I will see you guys again um uh, the next webinars. Okay. And uh thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope you guys learning something like I say. If you follow, I mean if you learn from my strategy, you know, is the trading is not that difficult, but also it's not easy. But if you know the strategy and then you find the strategy that suits yours, and then I think you can you can you can make the money from from the market yeah you know sometimes if you like what i can tell you guys you learn smc just smc you just see like uh smc the usually the smc strategy they more to like um the the rr is very very high like sometimes they can just show you like one to ten or one to five or one to six but your win rate is very very little and then you have to like um wait for the setup so i use smc just to see the uh market structures okay and after that you just have to say okay you have you just have to know how to read like okay price is very high 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 your low meaning that price is on uptrend one one price is change the momentum for example here my tip for me you see yeah 
lower, lower, lower here, right? Here. And what you can see, ah, this lower, this high. And you can this, and then starting to change to, they cannot make the higher high, they make a lower high, meaning like that, you can set all oh, price, it's already break this, this low. Okay. Actually, from here, I also know the trade, which is you can draw FIBO from that here. You don't get, never mind, I don't teach you this strategy later, you can get for feel, but you see like that, right? Here, break, then you have to pull, see? Sometimes it doesn't mean have to be at this level because what you mean that price break, but this low still haven't break, right? This one, you know that, oh, there might be, this is your uh, resistance, resistance, support, you buy from here. After you buy from here, they say you know that you draw fit from here to here or level here. And then what you can see here, you will get the, the position from this level, which is 61.8%. Price break the this low, right? Okay, you wait for price to pull. This is your... Why you, I get a buy here? Why I get a sale here? Because... I explain before I, I go, yeah. Um, here, okay. I zoom in for you to see. Okay, B. Okay, first you know that price is going to change for momentum uptrend to downtrend because Ichimoku cloud will slowly appear in the red um cloud, right? I close and then they have 61 point why i choose 61 point and 50 percent because this have this is called hidden base or um supply zone in head four if you were to this is my zone have to draw like that right the week and the week if you were to lower to h1 still hidden base you know you still cannot see meaning this is a big boy in the market, like really big bad candle, you lower to M30. You still cannot see that one is called hidden base. But if you want to call like a, if you want to see like a supply zone, you need to, you cannot see. Oh, meaning that I think that is a heavily big new here. You will see like there is a small green candle in the Wow, this one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Sorry, guys. I just want to show you. I cannot see. I don't know where. I don't know where is it now. <laughs> anyway, but uh, what I mean, like, um, you, you just remember this, okay? If you want to see like that, mean that this is called hidden base, meaning that the, the, like the, the big boy in the market keeps selling. When you see the big mean like that, there is a like retailer, they buy. Okay, they buy up, but then of course the big boy in silver the market, it keeps selling. Okay, from here they sell, and then you get stop out. That's why I choose this level to sell here. If you sell here, if you don't want to sell, you want to wait for the confirmation, you may not get at this price, but you will get at this candle because this uh, price of uh, action here. Okay, and then you can see their price try to go above this box, but they could not then all the way down. When you see the boy down like that, if you read the candle, you will know, okay, price come down, you hold, because you know that this is form of price um, action. This is have um, Fibonacci, 16.8, and then we have like a supply zone here. You need to hold, because sometimes if you don't, Practice, you sell from here, you see from here, and then you might close the trade. Or you sell from here and then here, right? And then after that, price is reward. Or then you think, that, oh, is this going to hit your stop lot or not? You might like, you know, for more, then you close. No, actually, you still can hold, and then you will get the, the you know, the TP quite far. Because if I see like that, you see that this is, uh, uh no 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 divergence here but they 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 kind of like makes um 
like, like the aim pattern like that using all the way down. And then this one also break. You get what I mean? So you need to practice. And then if you're really confident with your strategy, you can hold the trade. Okay. Because what you confirm you, Ichimoku Kao already tell you that it's on momentum, downtrend. You need to hold. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time uh, today. Okay. I will catch you with you guys again for the next webinar. All right. Have a good day. And trade safe. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye for now.